Good morning, everyone, and welcome back, because I've been away, to Monday Morning Meditation. Thanks for being here today and joining me in this practice. Today, I have a quote for you from Meister Eckhart. <clears throat> my favorite, this is one of my favorite quotes. He's one of my favorite mystics. He was a genius. The eye through which I see God is the same eye through which God sees me. My eye and God's eye are one eye, one seeing, one knowing, and one love. One eye. And you know, I talk a lot about polishing the inner lens. That lens is a two-way lens. It's the lens through which I see back into heaven, and it's the lens through which heaven sees down into me. This practice Yogananda talked about where you take your third eye and you breathe in through your third eye and you run through your pituitary gland down your spine to either your second or your first chakra or any chakra along the way. And then back up to your third eye, breathing out through this with concentration. I sometimes in inside myself, inside my eyes, uh, rather with my eyes closed, I, I do this. I drive my eyes upward right there. And so this gives me a little bit of an extra uh, attention giver. So I'm paying a little bit more attention to the third eye. Uh, and what I want to talk about this morning is, well, first I'm going to ask you whether you've ever seen that image that I used as the thumbnail. That's from Pramahansa, uh, Pramahansa Yogananda, that the star in the middle with the the gold ring, that, that can appear right here. This is an opening through which one can travel if one is plucked, or you can push out to reach out uh, across the, eth the ethers, across um, divides to other people, not using it as a manipulation or a forceful thing, but just as a gentle reaching out for connection. I focus most of my meditation. Here's where I differ a little. I differ a little bit from Thomas Keating, and the centering prayer practice is that I, I use this as my base. This is the place where I start my meditation. This is the place where I aim my meditation. This is the place that I aim to open. This is the first place, and then once this is open, and it has been open for me for a long time. I then use that same focused concentration to bring it into my other chakras. You know, the bottom, the root chakra, or the number two chakra, connecting a link between the two. But you can use the same focus here that you apply here, or your heart, or your solar plexus down here, and link them all together. So sometimes in my meditation, I'll go one, two, and then I go back up, and then I go two, three, and then I go back up, and then I go down to, uh, I, I cut that out of order, heart, and then I go down to the solar plexus, and then I go down to the navel, and then I go down to the to the root, and I run these, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and, and then from here, okay, so once I've got, I've got these all sort of opened, I then aim for the crown. Now, the crown, I found, personally speaking, the most difficult of them all, and I found that this point right there is the is the opening spot but to get there i i used the whole i placed my mind instead of in a singular spot like this i placed my mind on the whole crown of my head i put my mind up to here and i breathe up through this whole top part and then i learned to focus in to the center place now those are those are some of the techniques that i use but what i'm doing down below okay is if i really want to force my mind into a singular place. I pull in my muscles and my stomach. I pull in my muscles in my back and I force my chi or my prana up into that spot right there. I kind of like, <sighs> and I force it right to there. I do that a lot in my, in my, um, physical yoga practice, but I also do it in my meditation practice. And sometimes you may notice when you're listening to me as I meditate, my breath goes from this to something like this.
I do that in order to really begin to focus my mind. If my mind is wandering around a bit, I pull into that very hard breath, that very slow and controlled, forceful breath, and I push it right through my third eye. Now, what does all this do? All of this does exactly what Meister Eckhart says it does, what Jesus talked about when he said, make your eye single and your body will be filled with light. That is the result. The eye through which I see God, God sees me. There is no separation. This is the same eye. It's, it's my eye and God's eye. They are one eye. My eye and God's eye inside myself, they are one eye. Now, when I began this whole process, and I talked a little bit about this yesterday, either at Not Church or at our Zoom meeting, I can't remember which, but I didn't know all this when I began the practice. I died. I'd come back. My near-death experience completely changed me. I was at a loss to find my way home. I started reading and doing research, and I believed Meister Eckhart, and I believed Brahmayanta, and I believed Jesus, but I didn't know that what they were saying was true. So I practiced for 40 years in order to find out for myself whether if I could make my eye single, my body would be filled with light and yeah. Whether the eye were in, I focused on my own meditation life, became the eye of God inside me. Well, it already was, I discovered that that was true. That's why I teach these things. That's why I practice these things. I practice these things because they work. And I didn't invent them. I just used them. And I offered them to you. There are lots of techniques, but enough of that talk. Uh, we're, we're, we're already seven or eight minutes in here, and we usually meditate for 20. So good morning, everybody. Hi, Summer. Uh, you saw it once, Kristen. That's a beginning. Once you see it once, you're on your way. It's not a thing to be grasped. It's a thing to look at, to witness. Uh, Tashi, yes, excellent. Wendy, I practice the same technique with my eyes closed and yes to the seeing, but not the star, rather more circular. Yeah, the star is just a sort of a representation. Uh, it's not the thing itself, of course, because it's all, even, even artwork around spirituality is metaphor. So I don't exactly see the star either, okay? I see sort of, uh, I see a gold light on the interior, oh, um, yeah, I guess that's what I see. I have to think about this. I see a spot inside a circle, inside a darkness. And the whole thing pulsates and, and, and expands and contracts and moves. And I try, not, I, I try not to grasp at it. I try not to look, really look at it. I, I try just to observe it. Just to passively observe it. Anyway, enough of that stuff. Let's get into meditation. We're going to do, as we always do, three ohms first. And I'm trying to find my clock here so I can set the thing and grab my mask because of the lighting, as you, I, I say a thousand times. All right, my feet are flat on the floor. I'm going to stretch my face. You don't have to look at this. There we go. Just a little face stretch here. Relax my back. Set my seat. Uh, like, yes, like the video. Subscribe if you've been paying attention for a while, if you've been watching. Uh, I wish I was further ahead. Hey, R. Fox, um, you'll make the progress. All right, so the thing about the meditation life, the centering life, the practice, is that it works. You know, Yogananda called it the science, okay? It's because it works. It's because it's a tool set that actually does its job on its own, just by practicing it. So you'll make progress. It's just in God's time, not in our time, as they say. So, don't you worry. You'll get there. All right, so we're going to begin with three ohms and then move into our centering practice. I'm going to put on my mask. Uh, I do this for those of you who are joining me uh, today for the first time because uh, I like to cut down all sensory input. Uh, I, have a little, I have a soundproof studio, and now I, so I can't hear much of anything, and now I can't see much of anything. And if I was not on camera with these lights on me, I wouldn't wear a mask. And I also, of course, wouldn't be using a microphone. So um, I should also flip up my little eyeball here and take a look and set the timer. Okay. Here we go. Three ohms into your centering practice. And I'm resetting my feet on the floor. That's what I'm doing down below there. Okay, here we go. Relax. Thank you. 
meditation.
Hi everyone. Time to open your eyes, come back to the world here. I hope that went well for you. It's nice and quiet inside me. Hi, Glenn and Lynn, Massachusetts. Thanks for being here today. Peace and love to you all. I'll see you either tomorrow on Tuesday for our live Zoom meditation at 9 a.m. Eastern time or on Wednesday here on YouTube. Thanks for coming. Peace and love to you all. You're welcome. Namaste. Um, yes, everyone have a fabulous day and peace and love everyone. And thank you. See you soon.